Welcome to Canadream. It's a pleasure having you as our guest. We're going to give you an overview before you set off, showing how each of the components in your RV works, and also provide some helpful tips about driving in North America. After that, you'll be set to have a comfortable and trouble-free vacation. At the end of the video, you'll then take our self-guided, hands-on tour of your own RV using our how-to guide. If you have any questions once you've completed your orientation, simply ask one of our knowledgeable guest service agents who will be happy to assist. Your two best friends on your travels will be your how-to guide and the guest guide provided with your RV. The guest guide contains more detailed instructions on the features of your chosen RV. First, we'll quickly run through the symbols used in this how-to video. Requires electricity. This symbol indicates this feature is only available when your vehicle is connected to shore power. Requires propane. This symbol indicates that this procedure functions with propane gas. Requires battery. This symbol indicates that the 12-volt battery system is required for the operation. Use Sani Dump Station. This symbol indicates that the procedure should only be performed at a registered Sani Dump Station. Start the orientation at the entrance to your RV on the passenger side of the vehicle and become familiar with everything on the outside before going inside. Refer to your how-to guide as you walk around the RV. Note the position of the fresh water fill, the fridge furnace and hot water vents, propane tank, propane shutoff switch, service center, waste valves and outlet, city water connection and fuel tank. The propane gas tank is located under the rear of the RV. The tank is full at pickup and does not need to be refilled prior to your return. The approximate level of the propane can be checked by pressing LPG on the Coachman Convenience Center. Please note that a reading of three quarters of a tank is considered full as room must be left for expansion of the gas. Your stovetop, hot water system and furnace are all operated by propane. The propane gas system is designed to allow travel with the RV propane gas tank valve open. The propane gas shutoff switch on the service center at the rear of the RV will need to be on for gas appliances to operate. Before boarding any ferry, however, it is important that the propane shutoff switch is in the off position. Connecting the RV to the campsite electricity supply is simple and easy. Remove the RV power cord from the RV. It is normally stored under the rear seat. Plug the correct end into the receptacle on the RV, then turn the collar to lock the cord. Locate the breaker on the campsite power pole and switch to the off position. Plug the RV power cord into the campsite power pole, then switch the campsite power pole breaker to the on position. Select a 30 amp service. If a 30 amp service is not available, use the 15 amp adapter supplied with your RV. This will limit the simultaneous use of appliances. Check that the voltage meter on your monitor panel reads more than 13 volts. See campsite staff if there is no breaker located on the campsite power pole or the voltage meter is not reading more than 13 volts. Your RV is supplied with a fresh water hose for filling the fresh water tank. The fresh water fill can be found on the rear driver's side of the RV. Connect the water hose to a campsite water source. Connect the other end of the hose into the fresh water fill opening. Open the campsite water valve part way and fill the water tank slowly. To access the water in the fresh water tank, use the water pump located on the monitor panel. The water in the fresh water tank is safe for cooking and cleaning. We recommend you use bottled water for drinking. It is normal to hear a noise from the water pump when it is in use. If you have water available at your campsite, you may be able to hook up to the city water supply and avoid using the water in your tank. Attach one end of your fresh water hose to the campsite water supply and the other to the connector at the rear driver's side of the RV. When you are connected to city water, the switch on your water pump should be in the off position. 
Your RV has two wastewater holding tanks. The gray tank collects waste from the kitchen sink, shower, and bathroom sink, while the black tank collects waste from the toilet. You can monitor the level of your waste tanks from inside the RV by using the monitor panel. When these are getting full, you should find a sani dump station to drain the tanks. Draining waste tanks works best when the tanks are more than half full. Higher tank levels promote complete draining. Only drain your tanks at a sani dump location. To drain the tanks, remove the dump hose from its compartment. Take off the cap on the driver's side to access the drain. Attach the RV end of the sewer hose to the RV, then place the other end of the hose in the dump station inlet. Open the black water tank valve by pulling the black handle out. After the black water tank is empty, flush the toilet with about 5 to 10 liters, or 1 to 2 gallons, of fresh water to rinse the black waste tank. Close the black waste tank valve by pushing in on the handle. Open the gray water tank valve by pulling the gray handle out. When the gray tank has drained, raise the hose where it is connected to the RV and keep the hose elevated while, hand over hand, moving towards the opposite end of the hose. This will help empty the hose. Close the gray tank valve by pushing it back into the original position. Detach the hose from the sewer outlet and replace the cap. Replace the hose in its compartment and close the cover. Inside the vehicle, drop a sachet of toilet chemical into the toilet and flush it down with plenty of water. Toilet chemical needs to be added every time you dump your tanks. The waste tank sensors can sometimes be compromised by material inside the tank, causing faulty readings on the panel. To prevent this, always flush with plenty of water when using the toilet. Only use RV toilet paper. Never pour grease, oil, coffee grounds, or other food waste down the toilet or sinks. Guests are responsible for costs to repair or empty clogged tanks. When the RV is connected to the campground sewer system, you'll need to keep the valves closed to allow the tanks to fill. The correct fuel type is shown on the fuel tank door. Only fill your RV with gasoline. Check the pump at the gas station every time you fill up to make sure the fuel type being used matches the instruction on the fuel cap door. Remember to turn off the battery disconnect and propane tank switches before refueling. Guests are responsible for all costs if the wrong fuel is used. Sit in the driver's seat and adjust the side mirrors so you can see everything outside the vehicle. Become familiar with the controls. Look for the yellow sticker on the dashboard, which tells you the height of your RV. Locate the tow haul button. This engages the engine brake when you are driving down steep hills and avoids the overuse of your vehicle brakes. Your RV has an automatic transmission. Before you can put the vehicle into gear, you'll need to have your right foot on the brake. This foot will also operate the accelerator pedal, so your left foot can take a complete rest when driving the RV. Before you head inside the RV, confirm that all exterior compartments are closed and locked and that the waste cap is on the waste outlet and the black and gray waste valves are closed. Once inside the RV, locate the position of the exterior light switches, the monitor panel, and the furnace and air conditioning controls. Look for the battery disconnect switch which controls the main power to your RV. This must remain in the on position for the coach battery to provide power to your RV. The coach battery provides power for the interior lights and the furnace fan. Other features such as the microwave, air conditioner, and 110 volt power plugs will only work when connected to shore power. You can check the battery level on the monitor panel. The Coachman monitor panel or convenience center inside your RV is located above the sliding door. It controls most of your RV systems. On this panel, you can check approximate levels in the fresh water tank, black waste tank, gray waste tank, and propane gas tank. You can also check the condition of the coach battery, operate the water pump, and battery disconnect switch. To check the approximate amount of water available in the fresh water tank, push that button and hold it in. The monitor panel is for convenience only, and the levels shown by the indicators are approximate. On occasion, the black or gray waste tank level indicator on your monitor panel may read incorrectly. The waste tank sensors can be compromised by material inside the tank. 
This can cause faulty readings on the panel. To prevent this, always flush with plenty of water when using the toilet. Only use RV toilet paper and never pour grease, oil, coffee grounds, or other food waste down the toilet or sink. Guests are responsible for costs to repair or empty clog tanks. When the RV is parked and no campsite power pole is available, the generator can supply power to the power outlets, coach air conditioner and microwave, TV and DVD player, where equipped. The generator requires a well-charged coach battery to start. It may be necessary to run the RV engine to provide sufficient power for the initial startup. Check that the roof air conditioner, microwave, and any electrical appliances plugged into the electrical outlets are turned off. To start the generator, press and hold the stop prime end of the switch until the generator indicator light comes on. Press and hold the start end of the switch. If the generator does not start in 15 seconds, release the switch. After 30 seconds, press and hold the start end of the switch again. Do not prime the generator a second time. To stop the generator, press the stop end of the switch. Check the RV fuel before starting the generator. The generator will consume about 4 liters of fuel per hour of operation. The fuel supply is shared with the RV engine and requires a minimum of a quarter tank of gasoline or petrol to operate. The generator must not be operated while the vehicle is in motion. Your RV has a water heater which uses propane gas to heat the water. The water heater control is in the Truma Control Center. To operate the water heater, turn the rotary knob to select the thermometer in water icon, then press to confirm your selection. Turn the knob to select Eco and press to confirm your selection. It will take about 15 to 20 minutes to heat a full hot water tank. The furnace thermostat is located in the Truma Control Center above the sliding door. It is a small screen and functions with a small rotary knob. To operate the furnace, turn the rotary knob to select the RV icon and press to confirm selection. Turn the knob left or right to select the temperature and press to confirm your selection. The display will flash until the selected temperature is reached. To switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit, roll the wheel to the wrench pictograph and press. Please note that the furnace vents on the outside of your RV can become extremely hot. Use caution when parking to ensure there are no trees or flammable objects close. Keep children and hands away. Never lean personal articles near or against the furnace vent. Ventilation is necessary when operating propane appliances. Always open a window or vent when using the burners on your stove. To light the stovetop, use the portable lighter supplied with the RV and pull the trigger to produce a flame. Position the lighter flame over the burner to be lit. Turn the knob to the light and high position, then adjust the flame to the desired level. Do not close the glass burner cover until burners have cooled. Your vehicle has an electric sofa which converts into a queen-size bed. To make the sofa into a bed, press and hold the rocker switch located underneath the overhead cabinet next to the TV to recline the sofa to a flat position. Place the bed boards between the side seats. Position the cushions from the side seats to complete the bed base, then add the sheets and blankets. The roof air conditioner will only operate when the RV is plugged into a campsite power pole. The controls for the air conditioner are on the unit itself, which is mounted on the ceiling. Turn the temperature select knob to cool. Turn fan speed knob to the desired setting. The fridge will only run off the 12-volt coach battery. 
In order for the fridge to function correctly, your RV must be parked on a level surface. The fridge and freezer may not operate if the RV is not level. There is a small bubble level inside the fridge. If the bubble is inside the black circle, the RV is level. If the RV is not level, move the RV to a more level surface. The fridge controls are located inside the food compartment on the left side above the shelf. The refrigerator temperature is controlled by a thermostat. Number zero is the off position. The thermostat will firmly click in and out of the zero position. Number one is the warmest, and number seven is the coldest temperature. Opening the doors frequently will impair the fridge's ability to cool. The fridge takes up to six hours to cool down after setting the temperature. For efficient operation, change the thermostat according to the ambient temperature. Do not operate the refrigerator when the ambient temperature is higher than 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 43 degrees Celsius. The bathroom in your RV is located immediately behind the driver's seat and is accessed by opening two doors. The bathroom incorporates the toilet, sink, and shower. Flush the toilet by using the pedal at the foot of the toilet. Remember to use lots of water. The bathroom sink faucet is also the shower head. To operate the shower, run water into the sink until it reaches the desired temperature. Press the black rocker switch on the faucet to select the shower spray function. Slide the shower curtain along its track to enclose the shower space. Take the faucet out from the wash basin and place it in the holder on the wall so it now functions as the shower. Adjust the water temperature to suit. When finished, either towel or air dry the curtain before storing it. Your vehicle is equipped with a smoke detector, as well as a combination carbon monoxide detector and propane detector, and a fire extinguisher. The smoke detector is located on the ceiling and is powered by replaceable batteries. If the batteries need to be replaced, the detector will emit a periodic chirping sound. Replace the batteries with new and keep the receipt for reimbursement. The combination carbon monoxide propane detector is powered by the coach battery and warns with a fast chirping sound. You will find it located at the bottom of the wall, close to the furnace vent. It is designed to alert you to possible carbon monoxide and other dangerous gases in the RV. It is important to note the propane gas detector is sensitive to more than just propane gas. Other combustibles which may be detected include alcohol, colognes, perfumes, and most cleaning fluids. If the propane alarm sounds or you smell gas in the RV, shut off the gas supply. Open all doors and step away from the RV. Reset the propane gas detector by turning the battery disconnect switch to the off position for 15 seconds, then turn it back on. Whenever you are reversing, you should always have a person standing at the rear of the RV to guide you. We call this person a spotter. You should be able to see this person in your side mirror and they should be able to see you. They will use hand signals to guide you as you reverse the RV. Many of the damage incidents guests have are caused whilst backing up and these can be avoided if a spotter is used. Thank you for your attention as you learned about the operation of your RV. We appreciate there's a lot to know about your motorhome particularly if this is your first time in an RV. Information about everything we've covered in this video is available in the guest guide provided with your vehicle. While you are on the road, it's a great resource to refer to for answers to many of the questions you may still have. We wish you an enjoyable and safe vacation. Feel free to share your memories with us on Facebook or Instagram by tagging your photos, hashtag MyCanadream.